for you guys so right here uh, right here so if you want yeah uncle if you got any question any any question regarding uh... <coughs> great so here I won't ask you guys to build it from scratch but using the existing templates itself okay using the ex existing templates I want something this I don't know where you copy it or you build it from scratch this is an assignment people will give you when you go to jobs this assignment is pretty simple okay if you want I can show you guys how to do it in real quick only the skeleton only the skeleton I just want a skeleton I don't want any fancy content over there okay here is a logo so logo use Twitter bootstrap logo here is a navigation whatever put only three links okay here this is a sidebar navigation so I will show you guys how to mix everything and achieve this template so I want you guys to repeat it okay the videos will be available but don't trust on the videos just uh, do your own thing this is sidebar navigation and this is actual content okay and this is footer all right this is this is footer and this is stuff so how do we do as simple as that what 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 we got out there we have a logo by the side of navigation so i'll i'll explain you guys how to do it maybe uh, let's let's do it in that way so here in the templates i'll just close this oh i'll i'll add the screen share okay great so you guys can see the screen now so how do you take inspirations actually so what you do is like here we have one an awesome thing where we can take everything from here so this is the one I have already downloaded this I have this so what you guys do is like keep this template with you forever if you are working on bootstrap keep this template forever with you so I'll show you I have already this temple template so localhost it's called modern business okay I'll give the link to you guys so I'll just uh, give the link here itself so this is the link go here download the template and keep forever if you are working on Twitter bootstrap <coughs> okay download this and keep it with you anytime okay so I already have this you see here it's it I keep this every time always I have this template I'll have this in my uh, system because it has everything if I want any page it's right here it's right here see even our uh, two days live contact page I got the inspiration from here so except uh, there was no map so you if you can if you guys can spot it out I take I took the inspiration from here okay and like such you know always keep this template this is really uh, a template to have oh nice awesome great so yeah now since we have this template I'll show you guys how to do that so where is it open recent you see here modern business I always I always keep this so I want the nav bar for that I go here I'll copy this thing the top part I want the navigation bar like that so I'll, co I'll copy the top part until until where until here I'll copy this okay this is our header I take I paste it except that the CSS file we have to change the CSS files so what I do uh, here I don't want this I'll copy that CSS file. So, htdocs. 
okay we need that css file without css file it will not work just remember that css files are really important so what i do is like i'll take the css i'll take the javascript both i take this i go to our portfolio where is our portfolio or let's open a new folder instead of portfolio so this is new template okay new folder where is our new folder gone it might be here so i'll rename this as uh, let's name this as custom template let's say so i let this be now here okay i'll paste these two and i'll paste my po portfolio too or i can do it in portfolio also okay i'll paste it here itself why should we open this right so i've i've copied that file and let's see how does it it look like i don't know seriously this is first time i'm doing some crazy experimentation Okay, see the navigation bar right here. We have achieved the first part. The navigation we have achieved this. So you can remove whatever you don't want, and you have to change the links also. Remember, without changing the links, if I if I click on this, it says it is oh about dot html is there, but services dot html is not there, so it says not found. So you have to change those links also. Now coming to it, what I want, I don't want this particular thing. I want uh, something. Uh, what do you say? Separated one, sidebar and the content bar. So what I do here, I'll uh, okay let that be. I'll come here, my index dot php. Okay, here I'll remove the remove the content here because I don't want this content. So let's use container and remove everything. Right, so this is okay. All right, let's hit now. Let's hit the URL and see what we got over there. Right, there is no content in there. Now we want a sidebar and a content. Right, so how do we do it? So this has a sidebar too. Let's see. It's a sidebar page. You see this? This is a sidebar, and this is it. So what I do is I go to again my modern business. So sidebar dot html. We have already copied the header part, right? All we need is the container part. So from here, from here, I copy. I copy until pro here this. So I'll copy and inside my index, inside my index, just paste it. And let's see what we got there. So I come here, I refresh. Now you see, I got everything here, right? So now you customize this according to your needs. Now let's say this is. This is your portfolio. How do I do? I'll close this modern business now. I don't want it. I don't want modern business anymore. So, here, only the only thing we got to edit is our header file. Nothing more than that. So instead of modern dot modern business, I'll say Sagar. My name. So all HTMLs will be converted to PHP. So for those who missed yesterday's class. Watch the videos. So about dot HTML is about dot PHP services. So I call this as not services. I'll call as my past works. Okay, past dot PHP. Or I'll call works. Okay, here I'll say portfolio. Or let's say portfolio dot PHP. 
and here is contact that's fine absolutely fine so the rest I don't need anything else I don't need all this crap here so this may sound real good let's see is this working or not here okay here and this we, we can change this too so it says I hope you guys are understanding if you're not understanding you can definitely tell me so I'll just remove this nav bar right and it's right there and I say nav bar right so <coughs> nav bar I go to nav bar then component alignment is there so pull right pull left left right so we can we can even align in in that way too if you if we if we want that in that way so I'll what I do is like I'll just give a custom class here instead of navbar right okay I'll say navbar custom okay I'll go here modern business and here I'll write navbar custom right navbar it's not recommended to write here but I am showing because I'm showing it here because we don't have much time here so I'll say margin 20 pixels a margin we only need it for left margin left I'll say instead percentage percentage is a better way because responsive it really works good so this is it right Okay, save this. Oh, I always write this spelling mistake. Okay, it has moved now. It's up to you. You can you can change it by your standards. And again, on the right side also, I don't want all this here. We can we can customize that too. Okay, this is how you can mix everything in Bootstrap and you know achieve your goal. Okay, so. I don't know how much of you guys are getting it I can always I can always help you guys so what you guys do is like just take this customize it just this page and we we, we discuss about landing pages I'll be posting I will be taking another class let's say uh, a Sunday or a Saturday and we see how how can we do landing pages if we can do landing pages and if we can do this using bootstrap that's it you are a good designer Right. So, uh, with that, I'll be ending here. I don't know, Ankush and Rajesh, uh, how much you got from this class because you guys were not there in Twitter Bootstrap. So, Ankush, even if you are zero, no problem, man. You're gonna start. You're gonna start a new class in which you'll be learning everything. But still, try it. Even before you learn it, if you try it, you may do better. You may be ahead of your friends. And Rajesh, you too. So that is it. And before before the start of the class, I was talking about uh, uh, you know a guy. Fine. <coughs> That's okay. So yeah, uh, that is it. Now let's talk about PHP functions.